How are you? It's Gwen. And I'm going to talk to you today about how to make a roller bottle, how to make a spray bottle, how to use a veggie cap, and how to uh, take care and use your diffuser. So the first thing we're going to talk about is using a roller bottle. A roller bottle basically is about a three, this is a three of 10 milliliters, so it's about three inches high. You take the cap off, you just take your essential oil, you hold it at like a 45 degree angle above the bottle a little bit. And if you're having trouble staying steady, just lean your arms and your, uh, your elbows against a table and then just tilt it at a 45 degree angle so the oil can drip in. Count your drops and then take your coconut oil. I, like, I get this on Amazon. You can get, I uh, use doTERRA's oil. They also have a, a spray or a pump bottle now available on the website. There's a whole DIY section on doTERRA. So you just take the little end, put it inside here so you don't make a big mess and pump it to fill it up to this part of the uh, roller bottle where it starts to go in. You don't want to go higher than that because you'll have trouble getting the top on without making a mess. And then you just put your roller top on, push down. Make sure that it goes all the way down so that it's totally sealed and then pop your cap on. Now label everything. Uh, I put the generally on the cap because my hands kind of hold this too much and they tend to come off. So I put them on the cap. This has uh, just three different oils. So I kind of go around the cap and maybe mark the lid, the top with something else. And that's how you make a 10, roll, uh, a 10 milliliter roller bottle. With uh, kids, you're gonna cut whatever the dosage that you're using, cut it in half, okay? So that's a roller. And then you use it wherever, either on an area of concern, you use it on the bottoms of your feet because we have a lot of receptors there. If you're using it emotionally, I always roll it on my wrist and breathe it in both. Next thing is a spray bottle. So a spray bottle, this is a two ounce spray that Sarah made me that has rose water in it. Average you put between 10 and 30 drops, depending on your personal preference or what recipe you're using, in a two, in a, uh, um, two ounce spray bottle. So this has, uh, so if you were making like a bug repellent, you would put maybe 10 to 15 to 20 drops of, um, of Terra Shield or peppermint. I'm making a peppermint and cedar wood because I've got a lot of little ants. Fill it with either coconut oil if you're using it on your skin because it helps to, to disperse it and have it not evaporate so quickly, or witch hazel or alcohol if you're using it for like a room spray or a spray that you don't want to have that kind of a greasy feeling. Shake it up every time you use it and make sure you put a label on it. And that's your spray bottle. Now I make also bigger sprays. So you can get, um, this is like, if I'm using it for cleaning, I'll use a bigger spray and just multiply the number of drops in the recipe that I have by how many ounces are in the water. I like this trigger spray for doing like cleaning surfaces and things like that. So that's a spray bottle. The next thing is a veggie cap. So doTERRA has veggie caps on the website that look like this. There's a hundred empty veggie caps in here and they look like this. There's two tar there's a there's a bottom and a, and a top. So that you take this the, the larger larger section and you drip your oils into it. I use DDR Prime every day, and so I put four drops, which is a dose, in the capsule. Put the cap on and just squeeze it down, and then it's sealed. Uh, you need to take these right away because the veggie cap will uh, will start to disintegrate from the oil in it if you don't take it right away. So you can't make them ahead of time. But it's just a convenient way if you don't like the way it, an oil tastes, but you want to take it internally, like for seasonal issues or something like that. Really convenient way to take it internally. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is uh, diffusers. So diffusers come in all shapes and sizes. Um, the Terra diffusers are the best ones, but there's a lot of other good ones out there. This one happens to be one that I got um, uh, from Green Air. Basically, the way the rule of thumb with a diffuser is, for about every 100 milliliter of water, you're gonna put three to five drops of essential oil. So this is about a 300 con uh, milliliter container. There's a line, you probably can't see the line, but it's, it's right here. So you don't wanna fill it above that line. A lot of the diffusers don't work if you go above the line. The, dif the doTERRA diffusers have a red dot in them, so you wanna pay attention to how much water you're putting in there. So because this is a 300 milliliter container, I generally put between, um, six and eight or nine drops of oil, depending on what I'm putting in there, and then uh, just get it started. Most diffusers have a button that lets you change the, uh, the number of hours that are on it, uh, or, and, and to turn a light on or turn a light off. Most of them, I think maybe all of them, turn off automatically either when the water has run out or when the uh, time is up. So they're pretty safe to leave on through the night. They're pretty safe to leave on if you run out. You know, I don't think you have to worry too much about them. And then cleaning them. You wanna make sure that periodically you um, open it up, uh, rinse it out, and then dry it really well. There's a little, little dot, uh, it's like a little ceramic disc in the bottom of all diffusers that gets a, an oil buildup. So you wanna make sure that you clean that out. And the ones that are nice are the big open ones like this that don't have a lot of moving parts in them uh, on the top or on the bottom. This one needs to be cleaned, but um, that's, how you, that's what you do with a diffuser. 
So that's pretty much it. Uh, doTERRA has on their website now this DIY section, and I imagine that's going to probably even get, grow as time goes on. So you can look there for roller bottles, for spray bottles, and for extra five milliliter bottles right now, and pump sprayers for your um, for your doTERRA coconut oil. So take a look at some of the information below and um, enjoy yourself. Bye.